GFCI protection. Water and electricity do not mix. Hey, it's Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. This video is top hot tub code violations and minimum standards. Each one of these code standards is going to be referenced in the description below. Code minimum standard number five, having a service outlet within sight but out of reach of the hot tub. This outlet is required to have two characteristics, one, GFCI protection, and two, a while in use cover. A while in use cover allows for a extension cord to be connected and the cover fully seated and latched for a rain tight connection. Code minimum standard number four, a GFCI disconnect with in sight, but also out of reach of the hot tub. Violation number three, wire type, color coding, and size. With respect to type, this is an outdoor installation. That wire has to be rated for wet location. Even though it's an in a conduit and in a hot tub, those are considered wet locations by code, and the wire insulation has to be rated to handle that environment. Number two, color coding. Hot conductors, neutral conductors, and grounding conductors are all specified a color, according to their color type in the code. Mixing colors and wire purposes is a violation of code minimum standard. The typical color coding sequence that's gonna be used for a residential hot tub is black for line one, hot one, red for hot two, white for neutral, and green or bare for ground. Violation with wire type number three is gauge or size. Code table 310.16 specifies wire gauge. That wire gauge has to be multiplied by 125% to handle the impacity of the hot tub. That's because the hot tub under normal operating conditions is considered a continuous load. It could operate in cold weather and high use for three hours or more. So the ampacity of the wire has to be sized to handle 125% of the nameplate capacity of the hot tub. In this case, we used six gauge conductors to handle a 40 amp hot tub. Typically hot tubs will be installed on 10 gauge, eight gauge, or six gauge conductors. Code minimum standard number two, separation of grounds and neutrals. After the main point of disconnect of service power to the home, grounds and neutrals must be separated. It is often the case that installers will conflate, reverse, or combine grounds and neutrals, and that is a direct violation of the National Electrical Code. And code minimum number one, GFCI protection, ground fault circuit interrupter. That is the focus and primary emphasis of article 680 in the National Electrical Code. That is this baby right here. Gotta have GFCI protection. Water and electricity do not mix. This guy's gonna trip out at less than six milliampers of current leakage. It's intended, it's primary use, is to protect the users of the hot tub in the event of failure or current leakage. If anything goes bad, this trips out before the current gets to harmful levels in the hot tub. Subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money and click here for our next video on complete hot tub wiring start to finish.